national story. They've got uh, the Ravens, oh my gosh, visiting them. The Red Hot Ravens, both four and two squads. Minus three and a half. What do you make of that? Let us know at Up and Adam Show. Let's get to the break here. Hammer's gonna break down the Thursday night matchup. matchup. Um, so let's do it. We're gonna actually, we're gonna have MMG on. We've got Gronk on, but a prop off is due here. Oh, what a fancy, excuse moi. Foncé, foncé, Hammy. Is Matthew Hamilton on the program? Here we go. We're running back prop a shot. Um, this was the scoreboard last week. Um, going into that, into that Niners Seahawks Thursday night game. Here's the updated one. You guys both went two and one. Both had a great night. Gronk really getting it going. We Unfortunately, it. wasn't able to gain any ground because you were able to do it. Um, but we'll keep it going here. We'll see if Gronk can close the gap here. Um, Gronk, I'll start with you. Uh, Bronco Saints, Cortland Sutton. Over or under 45 and a half receiving yards to, in tomorrow night's game? I mean, the Broncos aren't really known for throwing the ball and putting up a lot of stats in the receiving game. So I'm going to go with under 45 and a half receiving yards for Cortland Sutton. All right, Kay, your turn now. I'm Alvin schedule. Kamara's line for rushing yards is at 71 and a half yards. Does he go over or under that tonight? Uh, or tomorrow night? Sorry. Thursdays are so weeby and wobbly. Alvin, 71 and a half's a lot. <gasps> I never go under. I'm going to go under because they haven't been using him like that. He's been he's 66 rushing yards over the past two games combined. So we've got injuries, the O-line, Olave, Shahid, they're on the injury report. I don't know. They're going to, uh, if there's one thing I believe, it's Sean Payton, Gronk, tell me what you think, sort of understanding how good Alvin is, who he talks about all the time. He's going to stack the box and he's going to say, hey, Rattler, beat me with your arm. Yeah, that's a good point. And actually, that's why I'm going with the next pick, um, Hamilton. I'm sorry, I'm already jumping the gun to have Let's Spencer Rattler to throw for more than a half a touchdown because Sean Payton will be stacking the box and make Spencer use that arm of his. And he didn't have a bad performance last week versus the Tampa Bay Bucks for his first game um, in the NFL. So Spencer Rattler is my next pick right. um, over a half touchdown. Sorry, Hamilton. <laughs> All good, Gronk. Do your thing. Uh, okay, Bo Nix yeah. is also at half a touchdown Great. for tonight. Does he, for tomorrow night, does he go over or under that? Ha um, oh, last three games, he's got five touchdowns. I feel like he's going to get better as the season goes on. Saints pass defense ranks 29th right now. Um, absolutely, this seems disrespectful for Bo. Like half a touchdown? Absolutely bang me over. I like it. All right, Gronk. Anytime touchdown score for the Broncos in this game. I'm going with Bo Nix. The guy loves to run the ball at the quarterback position, loves to scramble. He's going to get in the end zone. He's going to help me, you know, start topping K and prop a shot. <laughs> Come back as you know, Gronk, as, as the keeper of this game, I'm, if Bo Nix gets one, on the ground. I'm giving you two points for that this week. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So you can close the gap You're a little bit. I appreciate you. Go for it. <laughs> Anytime touchdown score for the Saints. Okay. I, I feel like I was mean to Alvin about yards, um, yeah, but, but I think he's going to really want to score one on, uh, on our boy Sean. So <laughs> I think, you know, they use him in the passing game. He'll make an impact there and uh, he'll find his way to the end zone. I say Alvin will score. So let's say. To recap, Alvin Kamara under 71 and a half brush yards. I just don't like that. He hasn't done it in a while. Um, although we could do that on one freaking play. So I don't know. I, I, I'm feeling iffy about that one. Bo Nix to throw at least one touchdown, of course. And Alvin Kamara is my anytime touchdown scorer. Gronk with Cortland Sutton under 45 and a half receiving yards. Rattler, I don't even like saying Rattler. It reminds me of snakes. I don't like him. He'll score at least one touchdown. And Bo Nix as his anytime touchdown scorer. FanDuel, by the way, offering customers a 30% profit boost. We love this. 30% PBT to use on any wager for tomorrow night's Broncos Saints game. This has been really popular with our viewers, with Gronk's fans, which is so fun to do on Thursday night. So this game, of course, tomorrow. Um, those are the props that we like, but you can build your own. Go to FanDuel Sportsbook, download the app. You can boost any bet you'd like. All it needs to have is minus 200 odds or longer for Thursday night football. Sean Payton Bull. Okay. Um, Broncos, two and a half point favorites on the road in this one. Gronk, who are you taking? in Sean Payton's return. 
It's going to be a good game. Sean Payton, I feel like he's going to get cheered at the beginning of the game, but yeah. once it starts, I feel like he's yeah. going to get booed, kind of like the similar situation when Tom Brady came back to Gillette Stadium. So there's going to be a lot of action in that department with the return. But it's a tough one. I mean, two so-so teams going at it. It's hard to pick these games in the NFL. These are the games you kind of <laughs> yeah. stay away from in the betting department, <laughs> I feel right? like, you okay. know? but. I'm going to go with the Broncos, though. I'm going to go with Sean Payton, you know, because the Saints, they're what? They're 0-4. They're on the losing streak right now. They can't figure it out. They had it figured out the first two games. They can't figure it out lately, and I feel yeah, like they're two. just on that skid, and it's going to continue. Momentum is definitely on Sean's side, right? I say it's just, all that matters is Sean in this game, and it really does come down to that. You can say all you want about uh, The only thing I'm worried about with the Broncos is I just feel like when Coach Payton, emotions can be used to his advantage, but also his unraveling. So it's it all the, the key to the game. If we were like on a you know the, the Fox pregame set, to me would be like, can he not overheat? Like, can he not like be his own worst enemy? And like over, I don't know. I'm worried about the emotions in that building because it's going to be a really big deal. I think it's going to be a huge deal. Yeah, that definitely is a good point. And uh, last week, he was kind of overheating already with his quarterback, <laughs> Bo Nix. They were going after it. So he's got to yeah, stay calm. Like he's got he's to stay cool. He's got to stay collective. And I think they'll come out with the win then. Didn't you like seeing him, him and Bo kind of? I liked that. I do like that. And that just shows that, you know, Bo's confidence out there, Bo's yeah. leadership as well. And uh, just reviewing the play, we all think that Bo was in the right as well, you know, when when we yeah. reviewed and saw what the play call was and what he did. So it was cool to see. And, and uh, it's cool to see that steam behind Bo as well. I mean, he's a, he's a guy that wants to win. Yeah, and we'll see if they can do it on the road. Big, big game. I can't even imagine, like, the bag of tricks Sean Payton has for this one. Uh, going back to New Orleans where he won it all, and they're trying to chase it in the AFC West. We'll be back with Gronk after this, where we will make more picks. What do you want to do? <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, it's so true, though. That's a, Those Thursday night games are, are, are rough.